Oh, I don't know if you passed the age of one, you've been bound sometime in your life. Hit your neighbor, say, neighbor, he's a way maker. The Bible says that straightway they were gathered together in so much there was no room to receive them. Isn't it amazing that God has a people who loves to help people? <laughs> Even though the sick man was lame and could not make the service, there was somebody who wanted them to be in the service. I'm so glad that the Lord helped me to get here. Somebody had faith to believe that God could do what he had promised. And we've got to get out the box. We've got to get out of this mindset of entertainment and start taking God at his word. We must begin to believe in miracles again. I'm not preaching to you something I heard somebody else say. I'm preaching with the authority of the word of God and an experience to know that God can heal. I'm not getting secondhand information. I am getting it from the word of God. And we've got to go back to the word of God if we want to see breakthroughs in our life. Believe God. I can't heal you. Let me say it again because some folk come looking for the preacher to heal them. Healing belongs to God. In the name of Jesus. I wish I could get a witness in the building. He began to preach not what so-and-so said, not what so-and-so believed. He preached on the authority to know that God's word is true. If you believe God's word is true, high-five somebody and say, God's word is true. I wish I could get a witness in the building how the enemy will try to attack your mind and stop you. But you got to be determined. Even while I'm preaching to you right now, the devil is talking. Oh, did you hear what it said? Look at that verse in that same chapter, verse 23. And there was in the synagogue a man with what? An unclean spirit. Uh huh. And doing what? Crying out. Don't you know that devil is telling you? He's just doing all that hollering. Ain't nothing to it. You still going to be sick. Oh, I wish I had somebody that got power with God to touch somebody and say, you be encouraged. Today is your day. You didn't come all this far. Tell them you didn't come all this far to leave disappointed. I come to get mine. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to wrestle through this thing. I come to get mine. I'm going to fight my way out because I'm coming to get mine. Discouragement is not here because I come to get mine. Oh, could I get a witness from somebody that I come to get mine? That devil will fight you for your miracle. He will tussle with you in your miracle. And guess what? He'll make sense in what he says. We walk by faith and not by sight. I'll go all you want to, devil. I'm going to get mine. Or oh, tell somebody, uh, let the devil argue all he wants. But get yours. Tell your neighbor, stop saying nothing happened. Come on, find you somebody else and tell them, stop saying nothing's happened. They told me I would never be able to fit back in society. Mentally, I would never be able to function. I didn't see instantaneous results. But one day, God came in my room. Oh, I, I can't get somebody to talk to me. He came into my room and touched me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. And that's been over 30 years now and I still be made whole. I'm telling somebody today, believe your miracle. What is an incurable disease? Can anybody tell me? An incurable disease simply means that medical science has not gotten that far. But it doesn't mean that God don't know about it. Oh, I wish I could get a praise in the building. High five your neighbor. There's no such thing as an incurable disease in the kingdom of our God. God gives man the ability to do some things. But God likes to do all things. And all the diseases that's in the known world. You ready for this? In all the world, the known diseases, there's 39 major diseases. Let me say that again. In all of the diseases known to man, there's 39 major diseases. Can I hit you with a truth? 
How many times was Jesus whipped? He was whooped 39 times for every disease that would come in the future. You didn't hear what I just said to you. He was whooped for the future. Amen. There's no disease that can be created that the God of glory cannot heal. I wish I had folk to believe God right now. Right now. Out of all the diseases you hear by name, they all came from one of those 39. And Jesus said, I've been whooped for your disease. And your disease shall not whoop you. Oh, I wish I could get a praise in the building for a minute. I believe God. Hit, hit, hit somebody and just tell them, I believe God. I just want to lay hands. This is a laying hands ministry. I just want to lay hands. But I don't want to mess with folk that don't want to believe. I want to touch somebody that don't believe with. Because if God done it for me, I believe he can do it for you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody just praise him for a minute. I feel a break in the spirit just to give God a praise. Oh, could I get somebody to praise him for a moment? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> if I was to use, if I was to use for a thought this afternoon, it would be entitled, I have a divine right. I have a divine right to be healed. I have a divine right to believe in miracles. I have a divine right to believe that God is able. I have a divine right to expect to be made whole. The woman said that was had an issue of blood for 12 years. She began to say, I have a divine right. Look at your neighbor and said, I hope you hurry up. Because I believe today is my miracle. I want him to lay hands on me. Oh, I wish I could get somebody to talk. Because the word of God is true. Believe in miracles. Don't believe in the man. Don't believe in the woman. Believe in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God known unto salvation to everyone that believes it. 